Welcome back for today's NBA pick video play for November 12th, 2018. And this one talking about this Western Conference matchup between the Utah Jazz and the Memphis Grizzlies. Going to give our lean on where we see the better value on the over under. The total number relatively low here at 205 and a half points. Both of these squads have gotten off to respectable starts. The Jazz at 500, 6-6 six and six overall. And then the Grizzlies a little bit above that at 7-4. and four. And actually, these two teams have already played each other twice this year. This is going to be their third meeting. We have a bit of data to go off of in a history between these teams and Utah they've had their issues going against this Memphis squad losing both of those games and coming at home in each instance so going on the road isn't necessarily going to make things any easier for Utah in this one the Jazz they should have a bit of confidence and momentum coming up back-to-back -back home wins over the Mavericks and Celtics and Utah specifically in that matchup against the Boston Celtics have to feel really good about going on and winning that one by a final of 123 to 115. Of course, Gordon Hayward going over and siding with the Boston Celtics as a free agent after so many great years playing in Utah. So that one had to feel really good for the team and the fan base overall as they went on to beat uh, Gordon Hayward's team. We'll see how that carries over positively for the Jazz coming into this one. In terms of their numbers, this is a Utah team that has shown a variety of styles, and they typically adapt to whatever their competition does. They've shown that they can play in up-tempo matchups against teams that like to run and gun a bit, but then they've also shown that they can play in grinded-out half-court fests as well. The Jazz, in terms of those numbers, about league average on both sides of the ball. So today, they're taking on the Memphis Grizzlies, and like I said, already two games between these two teams, and the Grizzlies going on the road into Utah, grabbing victories in each case. The first one by a final of 92 to 84, so one of the lower scoring games that we've seen in the NBA this year as the total in that one hit just 176 points. Then in their rematch, just a little bit later than that, the Grizzlies went on to grab that victory over Utah by a final of 110 to 100, so we saw a bit more offensive action in that one with the total hitting 210 points. But by and large, Memphis, they've had their success this year because of what they've been doing on the defensive side of the ball. They're first in the NBA in points allowed, and then they're 27th in scoring average. They have a very unique style, especially when you compare it across the landscape, which has tended to trend more towards an offensive-oriented brand of basketball. But Memphis, they're doing things their own way, and they're having success doing it that way, at least through the first month of action. So can't wait to see this third matchup between these two teams. Memphis, they've shown an ability to leverage their strengths against Utah. Perhaps they're able to do that again here today. But at the end of the day, we feel like the Grizzlies are going to be able to impose their style of action. And on their home court, we see this as being a grinded out half court type game. And with that being the case, going to go ahead and side with the under 205 and a half points as the better value play. If you agree, give the video a thumbs up. Disagree, give it a thumbs down. You can check out all of our picks for today's action over at our main website, stumpthespread.com, linked down in the video description. Subscribe to our YouTube channel, and we hope to see you guys back here for future videos.